This is a video about tofu. Tofu is one of my top favorite ingredients to cook with. It's so, so versatile, easy to use, high in protein. But yeah, let's just get right into it. Oh, real quick, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's ideas. And now roll the tape. I thought I'd kick this video off by showing you my go-to doing the bare minimum way of cooking tofu. I tend to choose a very firm, dry tofu. It's by the Edeka Bio brand, in case you were wondering. Instead of cutting it into pieces, I simply just pull it into chunks. Then to the tofu bites, I'm adding cornstarch, some spices of choice, and either some salt or, in this case, some vegetable broth powder. Mix that up thoroughly. Bring some oil in a nonstick pan to medium high heat. And then I give the tofu about six to eight minutes, stirring every few. Now I would use this in bowls, sandwiches, wraps, or other meals such as tofu curry. I would highly suggest making this like today if you can. First, I'm deglazing the cooked tofu chunks with some random alcoholic beverage that I have in my fridge that day. Next, I add some soy sauce, some agave syrup, chili flakes, red curry paste, and then I'm giving that a good three minutes of cooking before adding some light coconut milk. I let that simmer for another five minutes before adding some chopped green onion, some fresh lime juice, and maybe some more water to adjust the consistency. And I'm just serving this up with some cooked rice and maybe some more steamed vegetables, but in this case, we're skipping that. Now, when I did my research for this video, I stumbled upon a lot of people saying that you should freeze your tofu since that changes the structure of the raw tofu, making it taste more like meat. My first attempt was using extra firm silken even though it says extra firm, it is still incredibly soft and wobbly. Put it into a little plastic bag and then pop that into the freezer to sit there overnight. Now the tofu pieces come out looking kind of like yellow ice, which is interesting. First, you defrost the tofu. In the meantime, make a quick little spicy marinade combining garlic, sriracha, soy sauce, again, wine if you wish, agave syrup, some tahini, plus some cornstarch. Carefully drain the now defrosted tofu. It might be a bit fragile at this point, so be careful. Add the sauce over top and then allow this to cook for another five minutes, give or take. The tofu's consistency kind of turned into that of cooked chicken or white fish almost. It's weird. Again, serve it up in a bowl, a wrap, a sandwich, you name it. For this next recipe, I decided to freeze tofu again, this time using the more dry tofu that I tend to go for. Did the same thing with trying to defrost it using the hot water. Yeah, it started breaking down into these loose tofu chunks. However your frozen defrosted tofu might end up looking, you can always still use it. And once again, why not make a spicy little sauce? This one uses gochujang as the base. In a small bowl, I mix together gochujang, soy sauce, wine. You could also just do water, white wine vinegar, powdered sugar, and sesame oil. Now once again, Bring a pan to medium high heat, add your tofu crumbles, cook those for a good six minutes.
cutting up some green onion in the meantime and gathering the rest of the ingredients for the wrap that we're making. Did I mention this is going to be a wrap? It's going to be, it's going to be a wrap. First, adding some hummus. I have been utterly in love with this ginger flavored one by Bio Company. It honestly tastes homemade, it's so good. Anyway, next I'm adding some avocado, then some pickled onions. some lettuce um and that's it then i wrap up the wrap tightly like so toasting it up and serving it up i really want to dedicate a whole video to wrap ideas if you have a recipe or an idea for a wrap filling that i should try then don't be shy Le leave it in the comments thank you so much I am beyond excited to share this next idea. It's a peanut butter mousse that is honestly life-giving and so easy to make. All you need is a blender or a food processor to which you're going to add some peanut butter, powdered sugar, just a dash of cinnamon, a generous pinch of salt, vanilla of some kind, and lastly, some silken tofu. Blend it up. Divide the mix evenly between three to four little bowls or glasses. And then place this into the fridge for at least 45 minutes. And then top it with whatever you like. I did a single raspberry plus a piece of these crispy chocolate wafer treats. I've only ever tried tofu chocolate desserts, but this one just hits different. It's so good. Another way to enjoy and cook tofu is by shredding it. And so I used that idea and thought it would be fun to make some shredded tofu dumplings. First, cut up some ginger, onion, and garlic. Allow that to cook in a bit of oil over medium heat for about six minutes. Actually, I had the heat on high, which is why everything looks a bit burnt. Next, add the tofu shreds followed by some soy sauce, some sriracha, and then I added a handful of fresh spinach, also some parsley, which the parsley made these taste kind of like tortellini, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but yeah, I guess cilantro would be a bit more fitting. So I got these gyoza wrappers here that I just let defrost on the counter for about an hour. To each piece of dough, I added about two teaspoons of filling. Then I used a bit of water to wet the edges. And then you simply fold over the dumpling, close it off tightly. Lastly, crimp the edges. It's hard to explain with words how you do this exactly. And so I'm hoping this footage here speaks for itself. We then cooked the dumplings in two batches. I had quickly wiped down the pan, removing any excess filling bits, and then I added a bit of sunflower seed oil first, brought that to medium heat. Once hot, we added the first batch, plus a splash of water. Be careful when adding the water here as the oil might be splashing. We served everything with some edamame, some chili mayo, bagel seasoning, while watching Howl's Moving Castle. This movie is a trip and a half. We both saw it here for the first time ever, and oh my god, we were not prepared for this. For this last tofu recipe, we will simply just bake the tofu until crispy and then serve it on top of some delicious creamy sun-dried tomato feta pasta. The tofu baking method here is very much inspired by a food blog which I will link down below. First cut your firm tofu 
lengthwise. Once again, I'm using the plain firm Irika tofu. Soak the slices in some soy sauce for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, put together the breadcrumb mixture. So cornstarch, panko breadcrumbs, salt, and spices of choice. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Next, dip the soaked tofu in the breadcrumb bowl, using your hands to press the crumbs on there tightly. Transfer the pieces to the baking sheet, brush them with a bit of sunflower seed oil, or just add like a light drizzle of oil. Allow everything to bake for about 30 minutes. The original recipe says to flip them halfway through, but I didn't do that. In the meantime, make the pasta, which goes super quick. Finally chop up some garlic and some in oil marinated sun-dried tomatoes, and then add some of the sun-dried tomato oil to a non-stick pan, together with the chopped tomatoes plus garlic. Bring the heat to medium, allow this to cook for about four minutes. Put on some salted water for the pasta. Next, add a bit of vegetable broth to the garlic and tomatoes. You could also do wine here once again, but I just want to show you that tofu can also be fun without alcohol. Once most of the liquid has evaporated, add some soy cream, some vegan feta, and a bit of lemon juice or vinegar. Let that simmer for about five minutes and then add some fresh basil. And that's pretty much it. Season to taste with salt and maybe some extra lemon juice and then plate it up. It's so good. And that is it for today's recipes. If you have some more fun tofu ideas to share, then leave those in the comments. Enjoy this footage of me putting together some iced matcha whilst I talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace, a little bit. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform designed to help you build and grow your online brand and business. Start by creating a new website. Simply choose one of their many beautifully designed website templates. This feature here allows you to check and see what the template is going to look like on different devices. You can also use Squarespace to create an awesome new logo, or you can implement their email marketing tools, putting together like a really cool newsletter and getting your message and products out there. If you need any extra help, don't hesitate to ask their 24-7 award-winning customer service. Go to squarespace.com slash minarome and use code minarome to get 10% off your first purchase of a new website or domain. Thank you so much for watching until the very end. I appreciate you and I will talk to you very soon. Goodbye. Oh, I, I, I.